And a pleasant good morning. It's the 31st day of July. It's the last day of the month. And yes, it's going to be another humid day today. Yes, we had some heavy downpours and thunderstorms and showers in the mountain and desert communities, but we sure would like to have some here. Yeah, we sure need it. But yes, it was warm yesterday. It was in the low to mid 80s again yesterday. It's going to be the more of the same today. August looks pretty good. Yeah, usually August it gets usually a little bit hotter. And yes, uh, just a few days after that new moon we saw, or we had, we're in the waxing crescent phase again. So yes, you'll see a thin crescent moon in the western sky. Yeah, well, yep, it's a crescent. Yeah, like I explained last time, it's growing again. Yeah, that means it's growing. And yes, it's usually in the sky after sunset. Yes, it's usually visible in the afternoon hours in the early part of the evening. And uh, well, we're, we're, we're pretty much in Leo season right now with a happy birthday to actor Wesley Snipes. Also a happy birthday to Giants manager Gabe Kapler and to former uh, infielder Leon Durham and also a happy birthday to the late Jose Fernandez. He would have been 30 today. Yeah, the former pitcher. And yes, in two days, it's gonna be the trade deadline. And yesterday we said good goodbye to Zach McKinstry and we got him for Chris Martin. Well, that we could sure use some bullpen help down the stretch, you know, cause Sometimes Craig Kimbrell can't shut the door like he used to. I mean, he's past his prime already, and mainly when players are past their prime, their numbers start to decline. And, well, the Dodgers have a 12 o'clock game against the Rockies once again and see if they can win three out of four. And then you have the Angels playing the uh, Rangers again and see if they can split the series. And then you got the Padres and the Twins playing the rubber match and see if the Padres can, or see if the Minnesota Twins can win two out of three. And then you got the Sunday night game between the uh, Giants and the Cubs and see if the Cubs can split the series. Because we have the Giants af after the Rockies, and yes, let's let's hope we can get a win today, and and hope we can see the Giants suffer again, and and spoil Gabe Kapler on his birthday. But yeah, I think the Brewers are going to sweep the Red Sox. Uh, I think the Cardinals will probably take two out of three against the Nationals, and I think the, the Royals are going to get swept by the Yankees. I mean, yeah, the Yankees now have the best record at the moment, but with two months to go, anything can happen. Yes, it's going to go down to the wire for best record in baseball. And, yeah, baseball's best record, it matters for home field advantage throughout the postseason and World Series. And yeah, with well, the ex expanded postseason, um, yeah, the the season usually starts at the end of March, beginning of April, and it usually ends in sort of end of September, beginning of October, and then we have the postseason. I mean, prior to 1969. We only had the World Series. And then from 69 to 93, we added the League Championship Series and we had the East and West Divisions in both leagues. And then from 94 until 2011, we had the Central Division added and a wild card. Boy, if not for the 94 strike, we would have had our first taste of Division Series play. But that would start the following year, 95. 
Yeah, Division Series, and then League Championship Series, and then finally the World Series. Yeah, that would all take place within the month of October. And if 9-11 didn't happen, the World Series would have ended on October 28th. But yes, it was delayed a week, and we got our first taste of November baseball. And that was until like 2002, because home field used to alternate every other year. The even years would be the National League, odd years would be the American League. But if not for the 94 strike, it would have started in the American League because then they would alternate. Odd years in the AL, even years in the NL. But then with the tie of the All-Star game in 02, that would change. Because the league that would win the All-Star game would get home field advantage, but that experiment ended five years ago and then it was just fair and square that the best record would go to the the league with the best the team with the best record would get home field well have a great rest of your Sunday I'll catch you later amen